Jackie 33 and this is my week 14, 15, and 16 update. I've been on videoing for every week but I've been away and I really haven't been home so I haven't done an update. I can't believe it's been that long. I'm having way too much fun but let's get to the stats. Um, for all my new subscribers um, and those I like to remind you I had gastric bypass surgery on February 8th 2016 and at that, and I'm 5'4". At that time, in September of 2015, I was 254 pounds. At surgery, I was 236'4". And when I came to you last, at week 13, I was 207. On week 14, really, I record my weight on a Monday, but I did it on Saturday because I was going away. So on 5'14", I was 2028. That week, I kept losing weight. I loved getting up in the morning to go on the scale to see what I lost for that day. It just kept going away, went on away. But anyway, for a total loss of 4.2 pounds. Um, week 15, I was 198.8. Wonderland. For a loss of four pounds. And that was the Monday. On the Wednesday, I, was, I did my recording and that was 198.2. Um, on week 16, today, well, before I talk about today, on yesterday, I was 197.8. Today, I'm 198 even. Well, for a, a total loss as of last week of 0.8 pounds. Um, not, not as of... Wednesday, but as of last Monday, 0.8. For a total weight loss of 56 pounds from my highest weight and 38.4 from my surgery date. Am I happy with that 0.8? Hell yeah. I'll be happy if it was zero. I'm in Wonderland. I was going to say it a little bit differently, but I'd be a little crude. I was going to say I'm in Wonderland, bitches, but I don't know if I should say that. Anyway, um, as you know, I just came back from my family trip. We go away every year. Um, we don't get to see each other. I think about twice a year we get to get together. Um, so I'm so happy. No, we didn't go to Disneyland, Universal, or Six Flags. The main goal of this trip is for us to spend time together. Um, one daughter lives in Maryland. The other one lives in Houston. My mom lives in St. Thomas. My mother-in-law used to go with us. She lived nearby in Delaware, but um, she passed away. We, she was missed. Um, she missed last year because she had Alzheimer's, and, and then she missed this year. Um, it was kind of sad because we've been doing this for like 10, 10 plus years. Um, next year, Aruba. Um, I'm the happiest when we're together. If you met me, and I hope some of you will, I don't act like that. I am more quiet and calm. I am the happiest that I can be with my family. I'm the most relaxed. And I laugh the most. Um, they bring out the total joy in me. So when you see me, remember, that wasn't me what you saw in the video. Um, we spent a lot of time exercising in water aerobics. Monday morning and I'm exercising. The view outside is beautiful. Um, I'll show it to you in a little while. I just did 20, 25 minutes on the bike and I just did 20 minutes on the treadmill getting my work on this is a picture of the Grand Vista at Marriott in Orlando it's just it's beautiful here not quite as nice as Maui but it'll do and see the paddle boats won't be going in there um, had a really bad experience in a paddle boat right before my surgery um, fell down like a beach whale. If you guys want to hear the story, just let me know and I'll tell it, but it was truly a game changer for me. Okay, video. bye. And then we went to Orlando's farm.
times have changed. Everybody's eating fattening stuff, and guess what I'm gonna get? Fresh pineapple. I'm gonna put a small video in there too. Um, well, I did find walking. Um, I have this strange thing. When I walk, I'm fine. The moment I stop, for any length of time, I get exhausted. We would go into the different vendors and my daughter stopped to talk to this one vendor. She was there for like a half an hour. And in that half an hour, I was drained. I It was all I could do was to get to Panera Bread for lunch and sit down. Um, I don't know, I'm the opposite of most people. That's strange. While we were in Florida, our daughter had us going to the oxygen bar. She has these strange things for us to do every year. Did I do it? Did it, did it work? I didn't get the munchies. Well, <laughs> wrong experience. But anyway, it was an experience and I'm putting a picture in here. She always finds these strange things for us to do. Last year we did detoxing through our feet. I needed the, I needed detox, I needed the munchies for that one. She's always finding things to do, but at this age, life's about new experiences, and I'm down for the, for anything. Well, almost anything. Not really included the munchies, but anyway. Uh, um, we didn't eat out very much. My mother does not like restaurants. She manages her diabetes with food. So we only went out twice, and I made sure I just got appetizers. So I figured I was growing and getting. I'm getting better at managing my food. Um, but Voluptuous Skinny gave me this really great idea, and I'm going to try it next time. It's to order the salad that I really want, the premium salads, but get half of it instead of getting the whole thing and throwing stuff out. So that was an excellent idea. I'm going to try that next. Um, uh, let's see what else. I talked about getting tired. I don't know why I get tired like, like I do. Nobody else gets tired that way. Usually they get tired by walking. I get tired by standing. Um... I'm still in a size 18 jeans. They are loose. I'm close to a size um, 16 pants. I'm going to try on some tonight to see how they fit. I'm in a size 16 dress, definitely. Um, yeah, that makes me happy. And um, hopefully I'll be in size 14 in another couple of weeks. And I got this really great video when I get there. I can't wait to get there because... Anyway, I'm gonna go. I got a great video coming up. Um, a close friend of mine asked me if I wanted to have, um, take one of her size 14 suits that she hasn't worn but one time. And she's my godmother. And she got it from her, her grandson, who happens to be famous. And I'm not going to name drop, but he's on TV every single day. So I knew this was going to be an expensive suit. So, of course, I had to say yes. Well, I got the suit and my face dropped. It was pale blue, and it had a, a polyester texture. And I went, thank you very much, and I hung it in the closet. You know I always wear dark clothes. I don't wear pastels at all. Well, she was driving around, let's go visit her, and she was driving around Orlando and decided to come visit us at the hotel room. And I didn't want to seem ungrateful, so I said, let me try this suit on to show her that, to thank her. So I put the suit on, it's size 14, mind you, and it was tight. I'm not going to front that I was, I fitted it. It was real snug. But I put it on and, wow, the suit was transformed. I looked good. I guess money will tell and quality is important. But I don't know if I want to do the pastels. And she's also six feet tall, so I have to hem it. But it looked really good. Um, I renewed my driver's license. And in the past, um, well, I agonized about what pounds I should put on there. Because when I was 260, I put down I was 233 on my license. So I decided to put down I was 285. Now, I'm 198. I'm like 13 pounds from that. So I'm not really lying. Soon I'll be lying in the other direction. You know my motto. 
It doesn't get any better than this. Um, it was, I was kind of nervous and I'm, I was looking at the guy thing and he's going to say, you're not 185. You can't be 185. But I didn't, I didn't do, I just looked at him dead straight in his face and told him I was 185. I'm going to a trainer and my first official training day is tomorrow. Um, he did a weight analysis last month and it said my, my physical age is 77 years old. And I uh, went back again last week and he said my age was 78 years old. And I said, I just spent weeks exercising here. Why is it higher? And he said, you just lost muscle mass. You can't do all that cardio without resistance and weights. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Uh, I'll talk about him a little more in next week's video. Um, I have been in hiding. I haven't showed myself to my friends or anybody. Um, last week, I put my first picture on Facebook. And that's the one that I had on my video last week um, in the exercise clothes. And I got so many comments. And then last night, I put from the wedding, which I put that picture in the end. And the comments were coming in fast and heavy. So they're seeing the weight loss. Thank God no one said you lost weight. Um, I went to a wedding yesterday and it was the first time I dressed up in a long time in my size 16 dress and I haven't seen these friends in 20 years. So they didn't see me at my highest. They just thought I aged gently, but I had a great time. It was the first time in, I would say 20, probably more than that years that I actually felt beautiful. I felt confident. And I was, it was all about me. And that does not happen to me. When I go to, when I used to go out before, I felt uncomfortable. I felt self-conscious. I'm, but I didn't. I danced. No, I'll talk about this NSV later, but I wore heels. And usually when I put on heels, my feet hurt. Yeah, my feet was hurting because I danced all night. It was great. Second time I danced in a week, in over a year. <sighs> Go figure. Um, the meetup on June 25th. I'm going to meet some of you guys. I am so looking forward to that. I am so excited. I feel like I know you guys. I tell you guys things I don't even tell my closest friends. It's in my, I didn't even tell my husband, you know. So you know my heart. So I can't wait to meet you. And I'm hoping to get to um, Portland. That one might be a stretch, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to get there. Uh, the thing I want to talk about today, my subject for today, is I was watching a, a member on video, and she was uh, mad. She, was in a, she just came out of a surgery a couple of days ago, and she was in a lot of pain, and she was hopping mad. She was mad at the weight loss community. She said we didn't tell her all the negatives, we didn't tell her the side effects, and we didn't tell her how painful it was. And I wanted to comment so bad, but I knew if I commented, she would have been offended and probably uh, unsubscribed to me. So I didn't do that because that's not what we're here for. We're here for support and even though that is a sort of support, I should have did it. I still didn't. I could, in my heart, I couldn't do it. I wanted to say to her, yes, you're in pain. Yes, I see you. And your experiences are real to you. But they were not my experiences. And they're not everyone's experiences. Um, I've seen members talk about the same thing she was talking about. The same experience she was talking about. Maybe she just didn't see them. She can't blame us for what she did not know. That was for her surgeon and her research on the web. We are just supplements to tell you our personal experiences. So I asked myself, have I been honest and have I been truthful? And um, I, I looked deep into myself and I think, yeah, um, I come here every week or so and 
I try to be positive because positive is what gets me through this. But I think I tell you the truth. I always say life's about the good and the bad. I tell the bad, but I don't dwell on the bad. I probably dwell more on the good. But I do say it. Um, you know, I'm going to tell, I, I want to repeat this for her and some of the new ones. Again, full disclosure, um, I'm going to talk about my NSVs and my non-NSVs. Um, before I do that, I want to talk about my surgery um, and my experiences with surgery. Um, you saw me in the video on my second day, and I was uncomfortable. I was in pain. They cut into my body. There's going to be pain. But the pain was manageable. Um, maybe I have a high tolerance of pain. I don't know. Did it hurt? Hell yeah, it hurt. Um, it wasn't, I wasn't dying. It wasn't level 10. Most of the time I stayed on medication and I stayed at level six or lower. And um, every so often I got a level eight twinge for like a second and it went away. Like I said, I wasn't dying. I wasn't, it wasn't worse than childbirth. I had two of those. I know what they were like. Um, but I made sure my pain was managed. And then when I came home, I only had um, had to take pain medicine for that first day. I stopped right away. I was good. Uncomfortable? Yes. Pain? No. I didn't have any gas. I didn't have any drains. That was my experiences. Once again, I didn't minimize hers because that was her experience. I don't understand why she was mad at us for hours. I hope I don't sound defensive, but in the, in the weight loss community, every, we're here to tell you everyone's experience is different and we're here to tell you our personal experiences. Now, let me talk about my non-NSVs. Um, I have a day-to-day -day struggle with water. Every day I struggle with water. The struggle is real. I can see my face getting drier um, and I, I'm, I'm working on it harder. I miss my friend food. I don't want to eat. I don't get any pleasure from eating. And when I do, I get an upset stomach for about a half an hour. And the sleeve sleeve convinced me I was eating too fast. I did slow down. Um, it is better, but I still feel the discomfort. I was telling told him Brit Bat, it feels like I'm like a um abused boyfriend that I can't get rid of. Um I get tired standing around. And my husband knows when I start leaning on stuff that I'm just pooping um, out of it. Um, and Lord, am I a picky eater? I was never this picky. You know the crispies in me. I am just a picky eater. Um, my hair starting to shed. Uh, I didn't think it was shedding because I didn't see it in the sink. But then I started seeing it on the floor. So I'm sweeping now on a regular basis. Went to the hairdresser on Friday and she said my hair looks strong. It, she said it didn't look weak, but um, I do see a lot of it shedding. But those are my NS, my non-NSVs. Let me tell you about my NSVs. I gotta look at this one, this one. I don't use a CPAP machine. My ankles are no longer swollen. I couldn't wear shoes before. Not even heels or flats. I only wore sneakers. I can wear flats and yesterday I wore heels till all night without even worrying about it. I can walk two and a half miles. I haven't gone any further. I can read a recumbent bike for 55 minutes. No longer do I take cholesterol pills. My blood pressure has been lowered by 20 points. My shoulders don't hurt. I wear a size 16 dress, or 18 pants. Went down four sizes on each. In the airplane, I sat in my spot. In the past, I had to pull up the center so I could move over to my husband's side and take some of his. No, I sat in my spot. And in the with the, the seatbelt, there's space. I'm gonna stick a video in there showing you I have space in there.
is a um look at my belt i gotta do this this is my belt and um i think i have it twisted in the back i used to be at the second one i could see i was used the first at one point that was the second hole look at that look at all that space that was me not too long ago this is the belt i wore every day you could actually see the wear marks on it um what else um i weigh less than my husband major nsv um i could wear some of his clothes not that i want to but major nsv I love taking pictures, getting vain. I love looking at myself. Um, and I love taking, just being myself. And number one, I don't need knee replacements. And that's what had started me with this whole process. Don't need them anymore. Still got arthritis, still got a little soreness, but nothing like I had before. Um, the good definitely outweighs the bad no regrets now i have a question for you guys i got a birthday coming up and anniversary how do you guys celebrate how do you celebrate i don't want to go to a restaurant i don't know what to do so please share and i see i have a lot of new subscribers i want to thank you all for listening to me for over 20 minutes you know i won't shut up but anyway and my birthday sub, sub subscriber giveaway is, is complete my daughter sent me the email with, with the names, and you're going to be freaking surprised who won. Let me tell you. Uh, it's already recorded. I, I'm, I was going to upload it on my birthday on Saturday, but I got to drive three and a half hours in to and from Maryland to Baltimore because we have a quilt show on July 8th, and I'm going to talk about that more next week. So I got to go. But uh, thank you all. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the love. I appreciate it all. Um, if you're just strolling through, please feel free to comment, subscribe, or like, or do all three. And as you know how I end, have a great day, a great week, and I'll be watching your videos.